If you're looking for thrifting related content, well, you've come to the right place. I'm searching for a stack of items to sell onto eBay. It's my full-time job and in this video, we're gonna go and look for exactly that. And we've kicked off the day really well. I've got this RM Williams Stockyard long sleeve button up shirt. And you might just think that it's a plain button up, but these things actually go on to sell for $40 to $50 in pre-owned condition. And I've just paid the $8 for it in the thrift. So a really, really awesome start to the day, guys. There's gonna be plenty more of this. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the thrift Thursday morning. We do this every single week and I have a whole heap of fun doing it. Cobble drop, it's back for another week as well. So let's dive back into the first op shot run of the day we'll see what else I was able to pick up. Not the typical way I'd normally start a trip to the thrift episode, but we've got the Yamaha Diecast motorbike here. Now it goes for $27.95 brand new, and I've got this one for just the two bucks, so I had to pick it up. Also got the G-Star jeans here. Now these are the Morris Low Straights. They were 31 waist to 32 length. The comps on eBay are very good. I'm thinking about 50 bucks for those ones. Now I want you to check this brand out. It's new, and these are the Ray Tapeds. They go for about $60, so we've done really well on the jeans. If we have a look at the shoes, section, I'm really starting to become a big fan of New Balance. I've got these 988s, so I'm starting to sell quite a few of them. These are only an $8 steal, and these white ones as well, while there is a little scuff mark there on the back, I'm only paying $8, and the soles are in excellent condition. So two pairs of newies, very happy about that. We've also got a pair of stock standard Asics footy boots. These are going to clean up a treat, and guess what, guys? I'm only paying the $7. How about that? So these should go on to sell for about $50. I'm pretty pumped by that. So we're looking potentially at about $140 to $150 worth of shoes right there. Now, when you're looking at your snapback hats, Hardwood Classics and Mitchell and & Ness are two icons to be looking for. And I've got here a $6 purchase, so that should go on for about a $30 sale price as well. Um, $10 here on the Mizuno Enigma 4s, uh, a really cool pair of shoes here. Have a look at the soles. These things have never been worn. There they are there, brand new condition. So it's been a really good start to the day. So, not too bad of a run there guys, but I have left one item out that I've just purchased that I deem to be probably the best item of the day. Stick around to the very end because I'll show you it just before we wrap up the video. A huge get and I'm blown away by it. Let's keep moving, next op shop's coming up. Now guys, I've got a bit of a story for you. See this man on the right hand side putting shoes into the rack? Well, he is a volunteer at this op shop, but he is also a saint because he is delivering some fantastic shoes for me to pick up. We've got the Asics Gel Cumulus 20s here. It's a $15 price point. These will turn into about $50 very fast. Have a look at that. The Gel Kinsai 4s, he's just dropped them on the shelf from out the back. They should turn into about $70. Again, I'm paying just the $15. We've got the Nike Air Max Luna 90s here in fantastic condition. Once I give them a bit of a clean in the washing machine, they should go for about $80. Bucks, an unbelievable pair of shoes. I knew that he was continually <laughs> delivering some fantastic fantastic shoes guys so I've just hung around a little bit I just wanted to see what else he was about to bring out I've had a bit of a dig here and I found the Mizuno Wave Inspire 15s a pretty decent pair of shoes a $50 sale price I'm picking them up for just the $5 um, so they were pretty good I was actually pretty surprised that they were only five bucks because they should have been 15 like the rest uh, but hey I'm not complaining so guys I've spent a bit of time he wasn't coming out the back I've pulled up all the shoes and then I've gone hold on a minute he had a pair of Asics in his hand just then so I've put them back on the chair and I've gone back to the bin and I've pulled out a pair of Gel Pursue 5s, a fantastic pair of women's running shoes. Again, another $15 price point, turning into another $50 sale price on eBay. And then again, he's come out with not only some on clouds, but he's also got some Ultra Boost 20s. These are in excellent condition, and these are the granddaddies when it comes to running shoes. I'm talking about $150 for those guys. And you know what? The on clouds aren't too far behind. I'm thinking about $100 worth of a sale price once I give those a bit of a clean. So just like that, another $250 has just come out from behind the op shop doors. So this has just been an incredible run. I don't experience this in op shops ever. This is a once in a blue moon scenario, and I could not be more pumped about it. Those Asics Tiger shoes as well, I'm always picking them up. They were another 15 into 50 as well. So have a look at this collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I said he's going to be in today. Yeah. I'm, I'm a stalker. I stalk him every day on yeah. videos. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, my daughter's Well, these, these, ones, these ones here are the best of the bunch. Oh, I know. I said to myself, oh, I've never heard of them. No, no one has. No one's heard of them. So that on cloud. Remember on cloud. Not when I'm around, but anyone else. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're the best. But I mean, ASICs and Nike, obviously. Holy shit, guys. They do say that timing is everything. 
and I've got the timing absolutely spot on today. You can go into that store half an hour early and you can miss out. You can go in an hour later and you can also miss out and somebody's already beat you to it. But today, today we were centimetre perfect and uh, we got the job done and I was able to come away with all of those shoes and they're all going to go on to sell for $50 plus. So I'm absolutely blown away by that. Just an incredible run. Uh, let's keep moving guys. Um, we're so far having a very, very good day. And that very, very good day continued in the clothing section, guys. We've been able to find this Manchester United soccer jersey. It's a size medium. Uh, I've had to pay the $10 for it, but it is genuine. So I do think I'll get a pretty quick turnaround worth of a sale price, about 35 bucks, I'm thinking. I've got the Levi Strauss 550s here, a 36 waist, a 34 length on these ones. I think with the relaxed fit, I'll be able to turn this one into about a $50 sale price. We've got the Brisbane Broncos kids uh, football jersey here, $6 for a size 12, should be flipped into about $30. Not too bad of a go there. And then I've got the Brisbane Broncos training top as well. This is a men's size large, an $8 purchase price. Yet again, probably about a $30 flip there for that one. I love picking up my sporting merchandise. It just seems to sell quick. And how about this one? We've got the Harley Davidson, the legend rolls on short sleeve button up shirt. We've got $7 worth of a purchase price. Thanks very much. Heavy embroidery on the back. Dandenong, Victoria, Australia. I'm going to push for about $50 on that one. That was an absolute find. Uh, I've dove into another op shop here and I've got these Abercrombie and Fitch board shorts. Now coming into the summertime here in Australia, I am placing a bit of a focus on this category. Eight should turn into about 35 bucks with those. Hey, the problem with the plush, it is back for yet another week. More problems, more deliberations. I've got this one here worth a bit of a thought. We've got the strawberry shortcake. Now, it goes for about 40 bucks, so there is some good reason as to why I'm looking at it, but I did leave it on the counter. Uh, I've also got these as well, which was an Instagram viewer poll question. We've got the Keen Newport H2 sandals. They are waterproof. They are very good condition. I would almost say like new, and they are a US size 10, but the deliberation that I've got here is that they are $40 for these things. So let me know your thoughts. What would you do? Now, I know that we've had a pretty good run in the shoes today, guys, but I did find another pair that I had to add to the bundle. We've got the Wave Rider 19s for 10 bucks. Should flip into about 50 Instagram viewer poll question, the uh, Keen Sandals, the Newport H2s. Now, firstly, I deem that condition to be in like new and I think I can sell it new without box. So I had a look at eBay to see what were the solds for that exact shoe. And there was a large sell through rate around about the $100 to $150 sale price for a new pair of those shoes. So therefore, the price point at 40 bucks didn't actually seem too bad in the end, given that there were so many shoes that had gone on to sell. So I plugged it into the e-profit calculator and if I could sell them for $140, which is what it's telling me, I should be able to make about a $70 profit. So even though the viewer poll question was completely telling me not to go ahead with the purchase, I've actually gone ahead and made the buy, guys. I've spent the 40 bucks on these things. Keen is a fantastic brand. Uh, but let's see if they sell. I'm going to whack them up for 140 see if we can get the job done, make a $70 profit. Something that I've never really seen too much of before in the op shop are these cycling jerseys. Now, these were quite interesting. All of them were a size 2XL. Um, I was really intrigued by them because I didn't know too much about them. And just because you don't know something doesn't mean you should not go ahead with the purchase. I did some comps on all of these and they were telling me that I could get around about $30 to $40. I know that the cycling gear generally goes on to sell well. So like I said, very intrigued by these European cycling jerseys. Now, specialized, well, that one I did know, and that one will turn into about $50. I think I'll be able to get at least $40 free postage for all of these jerseys that you're seeing here. So in the end, I wasn't too sure on what to do. Should I take them all? Should I leave a couple behind? But when in doubt, guys, just take the entire rack, and that's exactly what I've got ahead and done. I've also found these, which was an Instagram viewer poll question. The first one that we've got here is this Blue Tech Race Wheel for the PS2. I wasn't exactly sure. It was $20. Didn't know if that was too much. And then I found the Atari Flashback 8 console. Two controllers, full setup there. Nothing missing. A $60 price point on that one. So I was pretty happy with the way we were able to finish that run off there, guys. The Atari Flashback 8 console system, though, that was the Instagram viewer poll question there. And look, my, my thoughts at $60 was, first of all, it was very high. I, I checked eBay, anywhere between sort of $80 to $100. That didn't actually rule me out of going ahead with the purchase, though. I, I will quickly say that the majority said to not go ahead, and I've agreed with you guys, and I have left it behind. But I still do think there's a place for uh, Facebook Marketplace with that sort of an item, especially at this time of year, leading into Christmas time. 
I still think that you could have maybe sold it for about 100 bucks on Marketplace and made yourself a $40 profit. So when eBay doesn't work out from a, a numbers sense, you can always look to Facebook Marketplace. No fees, no shipping to worry about, but um, I did leave it behind. Hey, uh, I've got the best item of the day though that I'm yet to show you. It's in the boot. I've just got home. I'm going to run upstairs. I'll take you through it now. I deem this one to be an absolute ripper. This has got to be one of the craziest thrift finds I've ever found, guys. We've got the 1998 Game 6 Final Series, the famous Michael Jordan last shot. This is just incredible to be found in a thrift store, and I've paid just the $50 for it, guys. I was blown away when I walked in and I saw it just sitting on the floor. And the minute I saw it, it was in fantastic condition, nothing wrong with it. And to pay 50 bucks, I think I've got myself an absolute steal. I'm a huge Jordan fan, you guys know that. You watch me picking up the Jordans whenever I'm in the thrift and I'm seeing them. So to be able to find this Michael Jordan piece of memorabilia is just absolutely huge. And I really wanted to kind of hang on to it until the end of this video before I showed you guys. So blown away by that one. I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I think I might just personally keep it for myself, but um, we'll see, you never know. Um, appreciate you being here, guys. My 30% clubbers that stuck around to the end to see my favorite item of the day. Thank you so much. I do appreciate your support. Uh, I'm going to leave a video right here that YouTube recommends is uh, one that you might enjoy. So let's see if they're right. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.